Good morning, everybody. So here's the new radio. I can't lie, it's still the same morning as it was from the last video. <laughs> um, so what we got here is a uh, metal speaker. This is one of these old Optimus Pro 77 speakers from Radio Shack, late 80s, early 90s, I guess. And they made a few different kinds. They made a smaller one. They made a mid-sized one, then they made some weird one that had a funny shaped grill. There's not much room inside of those. But in this one, this is the bigger unit of the two uh, square or rectangle metal boxes. And um, most of the time you, you buy these you have to pick up new speakers because they're so old. They get ripped, people pull off the grills and they put holes in the speakers. So you gotta buy a new five and a quarter speaker. Um, I took out the tweeter because the speaker that I bought already has a tweeter on it and it just sounded kind of funny doing the dual duty there. So there is a little hole here but it works out that it's pretty good for air. So I left it. I wasn't going to put a light in, another light in there or a sensor of some sort. And the static cutter is here. And this is the old um, reverb slash delay. I call it a slash delay because if you set it just right it kinda slaps back more like a delay than it does a reverb. So I, I used this in the first two radios that I ever made. And I don't know why I got away from it because it's kinda cool. It doesn't work in everything. I guess that's why I got rid of it. But it, it sounds pretty decent in this one. And I think I used it in the other metal box that I made last year. And it sounded good in that. So it, it all depends, you know. Even though they're all built the same, the parts do slightly change because, you know, wood is different than metal and the amount of air that you're pushing, everything changes. So they all sound just a little different. And this is a nice amp. It's a 17 or a 20 watt amp. A smaller battery though. Um, I had to because the bigger one doesn't fit. So this will last you an hour before you have to charge it again. It's more than enough time to do a couple sessions. And I tried to tidy everything up the best I could. There's not a lot of room to work here, but everything's nice and tight. I put a little glue on everything so it holds it tight. And uh, all you have to do is remove that from the battery and then charge it. And charge it, you know, for a good three hours. And you can charge it less if you want, but you're going to mess up the memory of the battery. It's good to just charge it full and use it. <clears throat> okay, it does have Bluetooth. And I reiterate, every time you use Bluetooth, you cannot use your pedals on the side because they need a physical input. So this input goes straight to this pedal, this pedal goes straight to that pedal, goes to the 9 volt battery. So if you're not plugged in physically you cannot use these pedals. So use apps that have effects built in and then you can use the Bluetooth. There's also a little MP3 switch up here so you've got a uh, you've got an input you can listen to your music if you want. I don't suggest you do that. It's just one speaker and it's mono so it's not going to sound that great. But you could do other experiments, maybe plug in a, a microphone or something and, and talk into, I don't know, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> maybe plug another phone inside of there and let that app run through while you're running a radio through here. You know, you can experiment with different things. I don't get into all that. Um, so let's plug it in, turn it on, see what we got here. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. Oh, i got an LED here too, it's red. I don't know what to use. I've only used this twice and I haven't really set it up yet, so if I fumble around, I apologize. Let's start right out with some box box, just for clarity. Okay. What do we got going on here? I don't even know how it's set. There we go. I've got fluorescent lights, so you might hear a little buzz. I'll try and move it away to a spot that. Something to do with the glare. Excuse me, Mr. Hey, buddy. How are you? It's Friday. Yes, it's Friday. Or he said right or something, I don't know. I heard something. 
And who done it? You know. I know, sir. But oh, I, uh... Rose. Oh, you the poor kid. <laughs> well, I provided that. Come on, kid. Yay, and how I do. Do you see this? So it's pretty cool. I mean, you don't want it. With this, you've got your level. Leave that up all the time. That's the that's the volume of your pedal. Well, I don't really leave it all the way up. I kind of turn it back a little bit. Um, this is your frequency. Listen. See how the frequency changes? Just a little more mids in there. And this is the blend of your effect. I've got it more than half. So when you change the frequency, you can hear the blend of the effect coming more. And right here you have uh, your well, your spring, and your hall. So it'll change color when you change. Okay, Spirits, who's here with me today? Ed? Did you say Ed? What's, what's your name, Ed? I think I heard Ed again. Ed, where are you from? I've been using this area here, the window, the because it's felt so strange here the past couple days. No, I, I'm in sympathy. I had 12 here yesterday. They said I had eight the day before. How many spirits are with me here today? Yeah, it'll do. Well, I'll... You're not trying... It doesn't feel like it did the last couple of days. But then again, when I'm working on these things, it seems to get a little more active. It's like everybody wants to talk. So that's the box box with the custom... With the custom files. Let's turn it off and go to something else. I'll show you a... We will go with... Today we're going to go with... I'm going to go with number 132 FM band forward speech. And the top white thing, you can roll it back and you can shut down your LEDs if you need to. Or you can just slowly put them up for a slight effect. Or you can crank it all the way up. Um, the more power you put through the speaker, the more it will, it will light up. Hello, are you guys with me? Who's here to help me test this radio out? Can you tell me if you approve of it or not? I approve. Thank you. A little choppy, but I think I heard I approve. So, yesterday, I sense two people here. One was a woman, 
with blonde hair, blue dress, and a pendant that she was showing me. I saw a pendant, like very clear. Who was that? And can you answer the question about the black man with the beard? Who's the black man that I keep seeing over and over for like the last week? It's who? Tom. It is Tom. That's awesome. Okay, Tom. I was just wondering. Pretty sure I heard it was Tom. Is it true that you were you were hung? Is that how you died? Can you just tell me yes or no? And I won't bother you with that question anymore. I, I'm I'm just curious for confirmation. Did I hear your voice over this radio the other night at my house, too? I seem to have quite a little following here over the past year. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. I just find it odd that they, um, that they um, want to hang around you. I don't have anything to offer them, really, other than conversation. Maybe that's all, all, all it is, you know? but they don't bother me. There's no negative feelings ever. Okay, so Jasper and Lewis, if you're around, can you please come through and talk through this radio so I can hear you loud and clear? It's a very fine line. You've got to get it just right. That's not bad. Okay, spirits. Thank you for testing this with me. I've got a new radio on the way that I'm going to have a hard time partnering with. I know it. Maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. So that's that. That's the Optimus Pro 77. Thank you, spirits, for coming through. I appreciate it. Spirits.